for Dr. Lin. Hopefully, this, um, I was fortunate enough to be here last year, so um, I'm looking forward to seeing the conference maybe become bigger and bigger over the years. So thanks to Richard for organizing this and inviting me to come along. Today, what I'm going to talk about is using chatbots in the social media space. This is more, it's not a technical presentation. It's not a, um, it's not even a presentation that's, that's founded on a lot of, um, um, a lot of data or a lot of proven performances. But it's basically um, a presentation to outline some strategic thinking um, about how chatbots can be deployed in the social media space. So we've already had um, Charles or Chuck from XIT present, and companies like XIT and Virtualize and MyCyberTube who are doing enterprise level work for cost reduction and increasing sales um, for high end enterprises like Fortune 500 companies. We get asked, well, we're starting to get asked, and I think um, Jeff can also talk about this as well if he wants to. Um, what, how can a chatbot, or what, we use the terminology virtual agents, um, chatbots are more technical than, but how can virtual agents be used in social media? How can our organization benefit from deploying a virtual agent in the social media space? So, um, I work for a company called MyCyberTune, an Australian company it's, that's now based in the US. We've been doing this for a number of years now. And we are seriously starting to think about the social media space and how this, how we can offer um, value here. So let's just start off by looking at, you know, what exactly is social media? We, uh, we hear this, you hear it all the time. There's a lot of hype about this. Um, There's probably just as much hype as there was in social networking in the search space when they first got started. So. Social media um, is broadly defined as media for social interaction using highly accessible and scalable communication techniques. Um, social media is the use of web-based and mobile technologies to turn communication into interactive dialogue. And there's another definition down there as well from the Oxford Dictionary. So if you were to read these definitions, you would think that virtual agents are an absolutely natural match for the social media space. And that's, it's, I, I pretty much think that's, um, this makes sense. Virtual agents being interactive, engaging people, having a conversation, with, uh, whether it's to help them choose a product, um, help them with technical support, um, to do this on a public facing website, to do this on the web. It, it's a total natural, um, it's a natural environment for a virtual agent. So I think um, if we have a look at what's going on um, on the web now, obviously. And these sites are obviously um, pretty much um, no-brainers in terms of understanding what social media is about. Um, Facebook, obviously, having a look up the top there, has 500 and um, 550 million unique visitors per month. Okay, you've got um, you've got other sites there, Twitter, LinkedIn, and a few others as well. Uh, which are the top ranking social media sites? We have a look at the numbers, the number of people visiting these sites, and then you sort of do a, you do some thinking about if you were to have virtual agents in this environment holding conversations about how many millions of conversations this would translate to over a given day or a given month, and it's quite significant. And um, we, um, as, as companies, are delivering to the enterprise space. And most of us, are, from what I can tell, are usually pricing based on a usage model for every chat that the chatbot has. Then there is a fee associated with that. It can be broken down to that sort of um, cost per chat or fee per chat. That's really what it comes down to in the end. So thinking about the size of the social media space and then applications um, for that space and the value that can be derived if we deploy to this space, then those numbers can become quite significant. So, I just want to take a step back just for a second, just so we understand um, the how customers interact with an organization, and then we'll make a bit more sense about how social media plays a role in this. So, um, just very broadly defined, the, engage, the engagement of a customer with an organization, it could be broken down to these three areas. Okay, the customer prospecting, which is in assessing at if particular person could be a potential customer and what they're actually interested in. There's customer conversion, which is more about, um, and, and I'll talk in the context of, of, of a web setting, when you have a website to try and engage a person, this is where a virtual agent may be deployed. 
you have, okay, this person has arrived at the site, so they're potentially interested in the products and services, so what can we do to um, increase the possibility that they will convert into a customer, i.e. select the product, um, select the service, pick up the phone, and call the organization, and, and um, sign up for something. And then there's, once we have them as a customer, how do we retain them as a customer, and how do we um, extend their experience, how do we form upselling and cross-selling and so forth. So if you were to think of the customer engagement categories as these three main categories, then I would say that so, like customer prospecting at the moment is probably the space in which social media can play the biggest role because people are on Facebook connecting with friends and family and colleagues, they're using LinkedIn. And these environments, um, currently do result in people then visiting a website and buying a product as a result of their experience in the social media space. So have a think about having a virtual agent in that space. What are the implications? How can we model a chatbot or a virtual agent to be in that space? How can we drive more traffic to the website? Why, how much, how often do we want to be presenting serious information about our company in the social media space? How fun should it be? What is the right balance? Why are we doing this? What's the cost involved in doing this? When you have a customer on the site and on your site and you're, and you're building a virtual agent for that site, um, then it's a little bit more serious because they're there, you want to answer their questions, you want to engage them. But when it's in the social media space, it's a little bit more fuzzy, it's a bit more undefined, a bit more interaction, posting comments and messages and that sort of thing. So, the, I'm, so for the remainder of the presentation, I'm going to be talking more about customer prospecting um, and more than anything. It's about how do you engage customers and maybe potentially get them into the organization or get them to the site. So, okay, so main role is customer prospecting. Um, it's all about engagement through a social media. So it's about um, having maybe a brand ambassador. So you have an organization, anything from a law firm to a, an, an online store that sells clothing or something like that. And you may like to think of a virtual agent or a chatbot as a, as a brand ambassador, something that represents the organization, not necessarily there to sell a product, to do product suggestion, or to even provide some sort of support, but to deliver a message and simply engage with the audience. Um, it could be used in a promotional sense, but not in an annoying promotional sense where you're directing uh, like a message and forcing them to do something and just constantly barraging the customer with certain type of message. You want to do it in a very natural way. Um, I, heard, I heard in an earlier presentation about how do you handle personal type of like, like conversations of personal responses and how much of that do you do in, in, in the enterprise space. Um, it's an interesting it's an interesting environment in the social media space about it's pretty much connecting with people and, and chatting to people and people sending messages to people. So maybe maybe the idea is you can be as open as possible and be as personable as possible in this space, but then when you have them on your website, it's a much more serious um, interaction where you maybe have to take more care with what's being said. Um, a really interesting aspect, I think, of virtual agents in general, but particularly in the social media space, is the ability for them to gather business intelligence. A lot of the time we think about virtual agents as deflecting costs, you know, increasing sales, but um, their ability to you know, record chat transcripts, record the intentions, expressions, attitudes of people is quite significant. So in the social media space, if, if this takes a whole new role, because when someone arrives at a Facebook page or someone goes into a virtual world, their mindset and psychology is different to what it is when they arrive on that company's website. It's in a much more relaxed setting, relaxed social setting. So then the, that poses a number of questions for what can we learn about the customer in an unintrusive way? Um, and also, uh, like, like marketing is obviously is more of a consideration in the social media space. So this is just the screenshot, and I'll play a video in a second, but um, having a, and, and, and I purposefully didn't put an image here, because this is just company ABC, and they just decided, to, let's say, deploy a chatbot to a Facebook site. So they have their normal information at the top and see the different tabs and they might have the chat tab. And they click on that and then the and then the and then the visitor is spending time on Facebook to chat to the virtual agent. So 
what I might do is just play a, um, I'd just like to play a video showing what the interaction may look like and explain why the interaction may look like that. So I'll just... Um, So but, but let's have a look at a particular interaction on the Facebook page. So customer comes along and just starting a social chat, says, hello, how are you? Getting a response from company ABC, which is our no-brand company. Um, okay, and now the, the user says, I'm just watching some company ABC commercials. Okay, so um, the chatbot responds, Saying the customer says how they like the monkey commercial. Okay, so they're, they're starting a social chat, they're referring to just the commercials, you know, some, some popular commercials that the company has launched. Um, the chatbot is responding. And, and, and what I want to show you is a mix between social personal chat and, and, the, and some company specific chat that, that directs the person to the website. Um, here they say, will you be watching the Super Bowl? Who like, will you be supporting the Pittsburgh Steelers? So this has got nothing to do with company ABC, who's an insurance company, but the virtual agent on the chat box got the ability to chat about these topics. Then they say, I bought a new car. And yeah, that's really cool. What kind of car did you buy? So company ABC is an insurance company that is you've got a virtual agent on their Facebook site and it's engaging them in chat. Um, did you get your insurance with us? The company, the, the customer, or the, 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 uh, the user said yes. So um, then the, the customer's also saying, I'm thinking about getting mo motorbike insurance, offers a link, click on the link, and it loads a page for them, like giving them information about uh, what they're interested in. So what I'm trying to articulate here is that when you're in the social space, like you're much more free to, to, like, to model the conversation around could be the, like the Super Bowl, it could be some personal chat, but then point them to the website like when it's relevant. Okay, so what this will result in is more visitors visiting the website where then you would have a different strategy about helping them out, delivering the right answer, converting them into a customer. Okay, and the more people you get to the site, the more your conversion rates are going to go up and, um, and potentially the more like, costs you're going to save by having a virtual agent as well.